This suturing technique is the hardest of all. Um, it's called subcuticular, and this is used for surgical procedures um, in which the incision is long and you're suturing up the top layer of skin with a buried stitch the whole way, and the whole thing is running. What running means is that you don't cut it after one throw, you just keep going until the end. Um, everyone does this a little bit differently. I'm just going to show you the way I do it. Again, I'm using nylon for this because it's black um, just for the video purposes so you could see, but typically you'd be using um, a monocryl, which is um, a clear dissolvable stitch for this. And so the first thing you want to do, just like our deep to superficial, we're going to do a deep to superficial, superficial to deep to get started. Okay. Okay deep to superficial, back load, upside down, go right across, superficial to deep. That way your knot is buried right from the get-go. And don't be discouraged if your suture rips through the fake skin with this, that happens often. Um, this is adds an extra challenge, all right. So we're gonna throw our surgeon's knot, with our two loops, one, two, three, and four. So with this one, you're only gonna cut the tail. So hold up your tail, like I showed you how to cut before. You're going to open your scissors a little bit, slide all the way down the suture until you can feel the knot, turn 45 degrees and cut. That way you're never gonna cut the knot. All right, so now we have our anchor knot, basically. Um, and so what we wanna do next, and you may have to move your body um, a little bit, or you can move, I mean, your suture kit. It's not a real patient. Um, a real patient's a little bit hard, but for learning purposes, um, what we wanna do is lift this up, take our needle, and come out right at what we call the apex of the wound okay so here i am coming out right at the top of the wound and what that's going to do is further bury my knot and then get me started at the top of the wound edge okay so there we go and what you're gonna do so i'm just gonna show you kind of a line is you're going to suture within the layer of the skin and move down the skin edge in this direction until you get it to the end and we're gonna tie it here, okay? So I'm right-handed, so I like to start on the left side. So evert the skin up, go in at that dermal epidermal junction and you're gonna move in the direction of the skin, just like that, okay? Let me come out, grab your needle tip. And this is where I like to reload because it take, it saves a step. It saves time of reloading later. So I reload here, and then I pull my suture through, okay? So now I can see exactly where my suture came out and what I wanna do is go in across the skin edge, across the wound here to the skin edge directly across from where I came out or maybe even slightly backwards, okay? So I hope you can see this okay. You're gonna go in the skin edge here directly across or maybe a little bit backwards from where I came out with the last one, and then I'm using my wrist to turn within that dermal epidermal junction here, so you're moving along the wound edge in this direction, okay? Making sure not to come out with your needle in the loop. That will get, that will cause a knot and make it really difficult for you to keep going. So make sure your needle comes out, not within that loop. Okay, and come through and reload. Okay, so I like to pull my suture to the side a little bit so I can see exactly where I came out so that I know exactly where to go in on the opposite side. So I use my AdSense distal to where I'm putting my suture in here, showing myself the skin that I wanna suture and then going along that skin edge here, okay, and just making sure I don't come out of that skin edge. Okay, 
thing and then like I said I pull it to the side a little bit to keep my loop out of the way and then that also shows you exactly where you came out so you know exactly where to go in on the next side. Okay, reload. I'm just gonna keep going. And generally speaking, the bites closer to the edges can be smaller, and once you're in the middle of the wound, you can take kind of bigger bites with your suture and go a little bit further distance when you're in the middle than when you're closer to the edge. So this takes a lot of practice. Don't get discouraged if you don't get this right away. Um, this is something that comes with time. And just keep going along the length of the wound until you get to the end. And this is a stitch that you would use pretty much only in surgery or if you worked in like a plastic surgery office. Um, we don't typically do this type of stitch in the ER. So what we have, if you can see that, is a buried stitch that goes along the wound edge and it brings the wound back together, but you can't see it. Even my knot is buried at the end. So now we have to finish this. And so your last stitch, when you get down to the wound edge here, and hopefully your fake skin does not rip like mine is. If it can. Okay, so see how I'm now pretty much at the apex with that last throw. And what I'm going to do is not pull my suture through all the way. So this is your chance right here if you need to tighten up anything here. Um, now's your chance before we tie it down. So you're going to pull it through and leave a little loop and that loop will serve as our tail. So we're looking at this like our tail and our suture line. Put your needle driver in between two throws, grab your loop tail here and then see how it's pulling down flush square knot pull down in the direction of the wound. Okay and then do the same thing this way. Okay, so my knot's a little bit outside the skin edge because I think it ripped through a little bit. Um, real skin won't do that. So you wanna cut this knot same way as we did before. So slide down. Turn 45 degrees when you feel the knot, cut. And now what we have is, this would be under the skin surface. Mine kind of pulled through that last throw, but it's okay, we will bury it anyway. And so then you're gonna go right into your wound, right here, this is to bury the knot, the last throw, and come out about a centimeter away from the skin edge, okay? And pull it all the way through and see how, you, sometimes you have to um, give it a little tug but that last knot will pop all the way down and then this stitch you hold up and you this is the only one that you don't cut on 45 degrees you go all the way down the skin surface and just cut it flush and then it's gone okay so there's our subcuticular stitch completely buried underneath the skin surface and that will absorb over time and the patient will never have to get their sutures out